today we are going to make a lava lamp. The lava lamp has been around since the 1960s. This cool lamp has blobs of color drifting to the top and to the bottom of the lamp. It is so unusual and it has these unusual colors that almost illuminate when you look at it. I love the lava lamp and I loved having one when I was younger. Well today we're going to experiment with the lava lamp by creating two different lamps and to determine how they will react based on the temperature of the water. In order to do this experiment, you will need a few supplies and adult supervision is needed. First, you're going to need two bottles. You're going to need water and I colored my water orange with food coloring. You just need two drops of red and three drops of yellow. Next, you're going to need some cooking oil or baby oil. You will need Alka-Seltzer. The purpose of the Alka-Seltzer is when the Alka-Seltzer and the water meet together, the Alka-Seltzer is going to dissolve and we're going to get a chemical reaction. When that chemical reaction occurs, we're going to get carbon dioxide and we're going to see bubbles. Those bubbles are what we're going to observe when we're doing this experiment. You will also need warm water and cold water to compare temperatures. First, fill your bottles with one-fourth water and add food coloring. It doesn't have to be orange, but since it's October signs, why not? Next, you're going to fill your bottle with oil. Remember, with density, all floats on top of water. We're going to fill it to here. So you need about two-fourths all. Don't shake it and mix it up. Just pour it in slowly. Now that we have our oil poured in, I'm going to put one bottle in the warm water and I'm going to put one in the cold water and let it sit for a minute. We've let this sit for a couple of minutes. How will the bubbles act based on the temperature of the water? Will it make a difference Write your prediction. How do you think the bubbles will move when we put it in the cold water and it gets cold? Will they move faster? Will they move slower? How will they move in the warm water? Will they move faster or will they move slower? All right, let's take out our cold first. We're going to test the cold bottle first and we're going to slowly drop in a piece of Alka-Seltzer. Let's see if we have a reaction. How long will it take? We see the bubbles starting to form. They're moving up. Let's do another piece. Now you can see. Do you see how the bubbles are floating to the top 
and then drifting back down gives that lava lamp effect. Why do you think the bubbles are coming back down and look colorful? We're going to talk about that. Let's look at our second lamp. We'll let this one continue. Remember, this is in warm water. Let's drop a piece in. Oh, it's moving much faster. You can see. And do you notice? Do you notice how the blobs look? Now they look like the lava lamp. The lava lamp will work until all of the alkyl seltzer has dissolved and then it is through working. So how does this actually work? Well, when the alkyl seltzer dissolves, it causes carbon dioxide, the bubbles you see. When those bubbles go through the oil and to the top, they actually pop. But when they came up, they carry some of the water with it, the colored water. And when it pops, they drift back down slowly. And this will continue to occur until all of the fizz is gone out. This is how you make a lava lamp. Which prediction did you make? Did you say that this was going to have a faster reaction compared to the slow one, the warm one? I mean the hot one or the cold one? Which one did you think? Let's test this one again. Notice the bubbles were different. The bubbles are bigger compared to this one, the bubbles were smaller. This one has such a fast reaction that you could see the blobs moving up and down quickly compared to this one, which is cold, moving slower. What other tests could you do when making your lava lamp? What are some things we could do different? Do you think it will make a difference if we add more Alka-Seltzer? Do you think it would make a difference if we add less water, more oil, more water, less oil? Do you think it will make a difference if we made the temperatures even warmer or colder than before? Well, if you want to know more about the rate of Alka-Seltzer, between temperatures of water, I will leave a link below for my video, Pop Pop Fizz Fizz. This is an experiment that you can do just on Alka-Seltzer and water and check, check the different temperatures and the rate using a timer. This one is for fall fun, where you can make a lava lamp and enjoy it in science and learn more about chemical reactions and learn more about density, how oil and water separate because of the density of the two. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science. See you soon.